so I, I'm more familiar with Jupiter, the, uh, not that one, but the one where he's Cincinnatus. That's fine too. <laughs> okay, I want to talk about that one. That's fine Because I like that one better. Oh, Cin yeah, so Cincinnatus was uh, essentially one of these sort of famous citizen farmers in Roman history, and he was appointed dictator, and instead of, unlike other dictators in Roman history, taking it for life, he did his task and then gave it back up and went back to being sort of a citizen farmer again. So he became this model for achieving power and not wanting it. So portraying George Washington, our founding president, one of our founding generals, right? And he led the Continental Army. Portraying him as Cincinnatus is, has a huge resonance. So I think whether, taking out whether it was controversial at the time or not, in some ways it's almost irrelevant to what a modern student would engage with that. Even a modern person would go and see that. And if they have studied classics, they have studied Greco-Roman culture and history. They immediately know who Cincinnatus is. Everyone taking Roman history, Roman civilization knows this. They learn of Cincinnatus, this idea of, in some ways, the reluctant leader. And that's exactly how George Washington portrayed himself and how historians of American history have portrayed him since then. And somehow this idea of not wanting power, but exercising it faithfully and dutifully is somehow good. That that's the character trait we want in our leaders. People who don't want power, but are thrusted upon them and will do it because they have some sort of devotion to their country. In that sense, they're able to see that and be like, okay, wow, I understand this. I understand why someone like Cincinnatus and his own history would be relevant and people would want to portray their founding president of their country who just went through you know, an incredible revolution in that way. And I think that that's incredibly empowering. I always like to think the more you know of history, the more it empowers you. So I think for students, for people going to museums, seeing that, they're able to see that, oh wow, I understand this. And I think it gives them a great insight into understanding how sometimes that idea of a reluctant leader is a historical construct.